All across the globe, America's enemies look to Washington. And they took the measure of the man in the Oval Office, and sadly, they concluded that President Biden was weak and feckless and ineffective. On Elon Musk, I would say, look, in many ways, Twitter has been a dark, dark place. I hope it doesn't get any darker. An incredible uh, event. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, what, it, what impact it has on the way Twitter operates. But we're all watching it with a great deal of interest because there's certainly been our share of complaints about the way it's been run in the past. This is not a time to play politics. I know everybody wants it. It's a political season. Every day is a political season in Washington. But we truly have a crisis on our hands. The border is a crisis, and we've got to address that. We had a 2013 uh, immigration bill that was very good for our country, that it gave people a pathway to citizenship. It treated everyone fairly. But make sure that we screen people properly. We have to secure our borders. Our borders are not secure. They need to be secured. Mask mandates are dying because patriots have fought back. Let's do it again with vaccine mandates. This is not a matter of health, it's a matter of liberty. These heroes will not go away quietly, and we will defend them because they have defended us. Mr. Speaker, it's time to end medical tyranny, end federal government overreach, and end vaccine mandates. With respect to the House Democratic Caucus, things are puppies and rainbows, wine and roses right now. Are you seeing what's happening on the other side of y'all? Like, we're actually focused on dealing with issues solving problems on behalf of the American people. The chaos that exists, the dissension that exists, the tension that exists, the infighting that exists, the bickering that exists, the shots fired that exists in this Capitol are happening within the House Republican Conference, not us. We're continuing to do the business of the American people.